Firstly, congratulations for yourself and for the victory for qualifying for the final series. How's it feel ahead of Friday's match? Thanks. It, um, it's really exciting. Uh, it's something that you look forward to pretty much all the season, and um, for it to be the, oh, for it to be so close is exciting and looking forward to it. I mentioned just before to Adrian how Andrew said throughout the season that he likes these big occasions and he likes his players to relish the chance to play in these big occasions. How much uh, or how well have the victory been schooled throughout this season to prepare for occasions like on Friday? <laughs> uh, it's hard to do that in training. I mean, it's it's a totally different different thing when you come out and you run out onto the pitch in the actual occasion. And uh, But it's something that us as footballers live for. It's something that you want to do, play in front of a packed stadium with a game that means so much. And um, you, yeah, I don't think you can train for it, but I'm sure we'll be, we'll be fine when it comes to the time. And victory uh, gradually getting back to what would be considered a full strength, I guess, this weekend with uh, some players back from international duty and uh, injury, etc. Are you confident that the boys have what it takes to get the job done? Yeah, definitely. Um, I've got total confidence in us to, to get the job done. And um, if we t as long as we turn up and we play, play the football we know we can play, I'm sure we'll, we'll be fine. And uh, yeah, I'm really confident. And one final series worth of experience for yourself with uh, your former club at Wellington that didn't end so well, I guess, but now having a second shot to play in a final series, how much are you looking forward to being three games away from a grand final? Yeah, very much. Um, with Wellington, it was we just kind of scraped through and we were travelling away and it was, it was going to be a tough final series, which ended, unfortunately, straight away. But... Um, it's a different story this year. It's really exciting um, to have the first one at Holmes. Um, it's going to be unbelievable for us and something that I'll, I'm definitely looking forward to. It'll be, a, it'll be a great experience and hopefully we can put on a great spectacle. Personally for you, last season by the standards you set in Wellington was a bit of a quiet one and this year you've exploded back to form with a fantastic goal tally and some outstanding <laughs> individual performances. Put simply, what's uh, what's changed? What's the difference from uh, last year to this? Uh, I don't know. It's hard. That's tough to say. Um, I'm enjoying the football a lot more. Um, the football that we play, I'm I'm enjoying that. And I guess when you, the more you enjoy it, the better you play. So I guess you could put it down to that. It's it's hard to say. I think it's not just about me. The team's been playing really well, and I've just been the lucky beneficiary of that. And of the goals you've scored, are there any in particular? stick out as your favourites or most memorable from the season? Uh, yeah, the two against Newcastle that I scored at Amy, they're probably my, my favourite ones. They were, they, were right. they were not too bad. <laughs> and I was going to prompt you on those Newcastle goals. Anyhow, two of the best goals of the season. Talk <laughs> us through them blow by blow in your own words how, uh, how they all came about. Um, yeah, the first one, I kind of just come inside and saw that there was not too much on, so I thought I'd just have a shot. I didn't even think I'd be able to get the ball to the goal from where I was. So, um, for it to go in, I uh, was a pretty pretty lucky, and um, yeah, it was it was all right, I guess. And the second one just uh, <laughs> it just popped up. It was I didn't mean for it for that to happen. It just kind of set up, and as I spun, I just thought I'd hit it, and I I hit it, and I guess the keeper wasn't expecting that, so that's why I went past him. Marco, congratulations on a fantastic regular season and we wish you all the best in the final series. Thank you very much.